Hey, everybody. Everybody having a, as good a time as I'm having this weekend? Yes. Great. So as Ashkan said, my name is Kevin Johnson, and I'm the founder and CEO of Zero Gravity Institute in Austin, Texas. So Zero Gravity Institute is a very busy commercial flotation center that I operate alongside my incredible wife and business partner, Carol Johnson. If you haven't had an opportunity to meet Carol this week, uh, I would really encourage you to do so before you leave the conference this weekend. If you'll stop by our booth and introduce yourself and talk to her for a minute, you're going to find out that, among other things, she's a brilliant p uh, business person. She's extremely committed not only to her own floating practice, but also to the floating practices of our clientele and our, our staff. She also has this incredible, real-world, practical, day-to-day -day, day -day understanding of what it takes to run a successful flotation business. There's no doubt in my mind that zero gravity would not be the success that it is today were it not work for the hard work and commitment that Carol gives our company every day in her capacity as an owner and the head of operations. Carol and I are both willing to share our knowledge and experience with any of you because at Zero Gravity, we have a mandate to be in constant service to the floating community. And when we talk about the floating community, we're not just talking about the people who are coming to us to spend money at our float center or to uh, purchase one of the flotation tanks that we manufacture, but we're talking about you, the, the people who are either actively involved in running a float business or are in the process of planning to open a float business. We take this mandate very seriously. We consider it a huge component in what we do at Zero Gravity. And indeed, whether it's profitable to us or not, we spend a great deal of our time in consultation with existing and prospective business owners, helping them to plan for, meet, and navigate the challenges that are associated with running a successful floating business. So if there's ever anything that we can do to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out and, and talk to us because we're, we're happy to do that. Now, in addition to running our float center, we also design and manufacture zero-gravity float rooms. This is one of our rooms right here, and I want to take a minute to thank the organizers of the conference for providing us with the opportunity to bring this tank and put it on stage and share it with all of you. Uh, there, there's a lot that I could tell you about the trials and challenges of embarking on a project of this scale and this complexity. But in the interest of time, and not to put too fine a point on it, let's just suffice it to say that I've had my butt handed back to me a few times in the last couple of years. It's been sometimes discouraging and disheartening, and a lot of times when I felt like I wanted to throw in the towel. And the truth is, if it weren't for the support and encouragement that so many of you people have given me, I doubt very much that I would be standing here today as a proud representative of Zero Gravity. I like to describe these rooms to people as large, luxury-scale, technologically advanced flotation rooms designed specifically to meet the rigorous demands of busy, high-traffic commercial flotation centers like the one that we're operating down in Austin and like the one that you all are operating in your hometown. So if you ever have any questions about these tanks, feel free to uh, stop and talk to us about them. Now today, I want to specifically acknowledge and thank two men for the profound effect that they've had on our ability to grow as a company this year. These are good men, like in the classic sense of the word. They're hardworking, they're as honest as the day is long, they're innovative businessmen who have inspired me to believe in myself, to uh, set my standards higher, and to work harder to accomplish my goals. They own a company that many of you all are already familiar with. In fact, many of you already sell their products in your float centers. The company that I'm talking about is called Onnit Labs, and the two men that I'm referring to are Joe Rogan and Aubrey Marcus. I'm proud today to be able to announce to you, our community, that Zero Gravity Float Rooms and Onnit Labs 
have formed a partnership with the shared goal of bringing to the industry the finest quality and most technologically advanced flotation rooms that we can create. Aubrey Marcus has prepared a few words that he wanted me to read for you guys today, and I'll, I'll do that now. He says, congratulations on a successful 2015 float conference. On it is incredibly excited to be working with zero gravity to provide what we believe to be the world's best flotation experience. We are committed to total human optimization, and flotation is one of the best tools I have encountered to assist with mental, physical, and emotional performance. And even better, we're coming to you straight out of Austin, our mutual home. Those crazy Texans and their state pride, huh? <laughs> so isn't it amazing? Isn't it beautiful to be reminded that when we're on the right path, the path of heart, the path of integrity, we get what we need. When we design our businesses around the concepts of service, when we align our thinking and we point our business down the road that leads to the greatest benefit for our whole community, we find the support and the resources that we need to succeed and to grow and to thrive. Maybe even thrive beyond our wildest expectations. That's where I feel like we're at this year. So, how do we do this? How do we create a situation where, where we can be in constant service to our community? Well, one of the ways that we do that is that we gather on a regular basis at events like this, where we can share information with each other, encourage and inspire each other toward abundance. And we need to be grateful. The good news here is that we all, you and I, we all operate in one of the most uniquely supportive business communities that I've ever encountered. I firmly believe that any of us could pick up the phone today and call any other person in this industry with a problem or a question, and that person is going to bend over backwards to help us with an answer or a solution to our problem. It's really beautiful. It's also very fragile. And I worry sometimes how we're going to sustain this. As our industry explodes, as we grow at this unprecedented rate, as all these new people come in to share in the experience of being involved in the floating business, how do we keep it special like it is? This, the spirit of cooperation, this, this spirit of shared goals and shared values. Well, like I said, one of the ways that we do it is we come to events like this, where we can share information and inspire each other. And we've got to be grateful to the people that provide us with this opportunity. Let's be grateful to guys like Graham and Ashcon and Jake and Janine and the whole Motley crew at FloatOn who worked so hard for so many months to organize this conference and make it such a success. It's because of them that we can do this. Let's be grateful to folks like Glenn and Lee Perry and and uh, Dr. Sudfeld and Dr. Fine, these, these brilliant, innovative pioneers who have blazed a trail that got us this far. It's because of these people that we can do this. Let's be grateful to, uh, to Dr. Feinstein, Justin Feinstein, and all the researchers and scientists who have picked up the torch and who are providing us with the scientific research and the data collection to give us the knowledge that we can share to our community about the benefits of floating. It's because of them that we can do this. Let's be grateful to Rich Martin and Paul Reeves and Bob Crandall and, and Shoshona Liebner for, for their work in helping us to understand and navigate the confusing and complex world of health department regulations and public safety. It's because of these people that we can do this, right? Let's be grateful to each other, 
to all your fellow entrepreneurs who are, you know, working hard to uh, make all this possible. It's because of them that we can do this. Let's take the opportunity this weekend, if you're an existing business owner, if you're already up and running, let's take this opportunity to hit the refresh button, to recommit yourself to the way that we do things in this industry. Make yourselves available to the newcomers as mentors and guides and help them out. And if you're new to the industry, if you're, if you're just getting your float center open or you're still in the planning stages of that, take this opportunity to commit yourself to acknowledging that this is the way we do things as an industry. Spirit of cooperation, friendship, the realization that when we thrive as an industry, we all thrive as individuals. We can do this. I believe in every one of you. We can do this. Say it with me. We can do this. We can do this. Not like that. You got to take it out of your head and you got to put it in your heart and you got to believe it. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sunday go to church kind of we can do this. Yeah, I thank you guys. I believe in every one of you. I'm proud of you. I'm inspired by you. I thank you for your time and your attention. Now I'd like to buy you all lunch. Yeah.